क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इट रीड्स अ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एन इनकैंडिसेंट लैम्प एन इंडक्टर एंड अ कैपेसिटर इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस एन अल्टरनेटिव वोल्टेज सोर्स अशोन इन दिस फिगर टू स्विचेस ए एंड बी आर प्रोवाइडेड टू शॉर्ट सर्किट द इंडक्टर और द कैपेसिटर और द बोथ Initially, both the switches are open, and the lamp glows with certain brightness. If switch A is closed and B is open, brightness of the lamp remains unchanged. How would the brightness of this lamp will change if switch B were closed, keeping A open? so this uh, circuit we need to look carefully this is ac source and this is bulb lamp which is having a resistance and this is inductor and this is capacitor now switches are shown over here first situation when both switches are open so if both a and b are open then you will find this is going to be rlc series circuit and this rlc series circuit will have a certain current running through this and that irms current can be written as vrms divided by impedance and we know the impedance of this circuit is going to be z is equal to square root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square you know this result and we are going to use this result now based on this irms we can claim how much the power is going to be dissipated by the lamp or what is the brightness is going to be because brightness is dependent on power So power is going to be IRMS square into R. R going to remain fixed. IRMS is going to depend, or the current is going to depend on the impedance. Now when uh, switch A is closed, so when we close this A, then you will find this inductor will become short circuited. Then the current will run from the lamp, then this part, then capacitor, then this, and it won't run from this or uh, through this inductor because. Uh, it is short circuited so you'll find in this uh, scenario it will become rc circuits rc series circuit and the question says uh, even though switch a is closed keeping the b open brightness does not change now if brightness does not change that means power should not change so power is going to be irms square into r r will not change so that means irms remains unchanged IRMS is equal to VRMS by Z. VR VRMS is the uh, voltage of the source which is not changing. That requires Z should not change. So in RC circuit, Z is given by under root R square plus X square. Earlier it was under root R square plus X L minus X whole square, and they should be identical. Why? Because uh, net impedance is not changing, which is uh, giving the same current hence the same power when you simplify this you will find uh, this r square r square will get cancelled out after doing the square both side then xl minus xc square must be equal to xc square and then take the square root and uh, then simplify you will get that xl has to be double of xc double of xc now if we open a and close b then you will find it is going to be an then it is going to be an rl series circuit when it is rl series circuit then the impedance is going to be r square plus xl square so in that case power is going to be uh, again different current is going to be there that's irms square into r now this different current is going to be the vrms that was already there divided by z this new z is going to be under root r square plus xl square earlier we have used r square plus x square so that time irms used to be vrs divided by under root r square plus x square and we have decided that xl is double of xc that means xl is more than xc so since this number is more then this overall number will be lesser that means the current running in this case is going to be less than the current which was running in the second case hence the power dissipated by the lamp in this case is going to be less than the earlier two cases hence you'll find the brightness will decrease so we can claim the lamp will have a less power 
now and hence the power dissipated by this lamp is going to be lesser hence its brightness will decrease a option will become the correct response understood thank you then